Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president of Audi of America, Mark Del Rosso. Well, thank you for joining us this afternoon. First, I'd like to welcome a trusted friend and colleague who is joining us this afternoon, Scott Keough. Scott. It is truly an honor to be standing here and reunited with my colleagues at Audi. I have, of course, been following the success of this brand from afar, so I'm thrilled to be rejoining this incredible team and continuing the work we started 10 years ago. You know, when I first arrived at Audi in 2008, they were very different times. Sales were one third of what they are today, and the brand was a niche player looking to break into the premium market. And then, our colleagues in Germany made the decision to send us a supercar that changed everything, the Audi R8. And that decision propelled the brand into the Super Bowl and began a 10-year love affair with Marvel Studios that made the R8 the superhero of our portfolio. Year after year, as the Marvel Cinematic Universe expanded, we invested in that portfolio to drive consumer passion with products that were just as exciting as the action unfolding on the screen. And with our dealers who have invested $2 billion in facilities that service communities across America, we continue to drive progress every day with human connections that bring the Audi brand values to life. This moment represents a new chapter in the story of Audi, not just in America, but around the world. A moment when a revolutionary product transcends progress to accelerate the evolution of an entire industry. Ladies and gentlemen, just two months ago in San Francisco, we unveiled the Audi e-tron, our first all-electric vehicle designed to strike at the heart of the premium SUV market. But at the pinnacle of the commitment will be the vehicle we are here to celebrate today, a vehicle that proves electric truly has gone Audi. This stunning machine embodies our responsibility to bring design and technology into a future where beauty and intelligence will be needed more than ever. The changing world demands a redefinition of mobility, and Audi enthusiasts demand heart-pounding performance. It is the next supercar for superheroes. It is simply the absolute best of the Audi brand, and a stark contrast from the expected. Oh, yeah. This is the original R8. I cannot believe it. Man, I have not driven one of these in a while. In 2007, Disney Hall arrival of Tony Stark at this event that he then leaves and goes on his first mission. So downtown, the architecture of Disney Hall and the emergence of this rebirth of cool with the Audi brand. And I just remember thinking, man, the synergy of Marvel and Audi and the way that it panned out, it's just incredible. And then the success of the film, and it's like these two brands built off each other. And it's been a love affair ever since. Tron GT, which promises to be the most exciting uh, electric vehicle in history, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna get a glimpse at that. And I'm gonna talk to the guy. I'm gonna pick his Teutonic brain. Oh, there you are. Hey, Mark. What's up, buddy? All right. <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, sketch. You know, everything everything starts with a sketch. Right. That's the beginning. Incredible. I started sketching when I was a young boy. Yeah. I had a grandfather who teach me in perspective and techniques. That's why I started feeling I was really used to sketch this wheels and everything. Old R8? You want to see the old R8? Yes. The one you have driven in Iron Man? That's correct. 
I'll tell you, every kid thinks he's a car designer. In my time back in the 70s, we were drawing dragsters, looking at Road and Track or Omni yeah. Magazine showing us where the cars of the future were gonna be. How do you even draw the first line different for an e-tron GT compared to the one that I've come to know and love? First of all, we as a designer, we always want big wheels. We want to have a low cabin, yeah. a wide a wheelbase, wide track. And then, you know, and then it starts, it's the beginning of a process. How do you know we're on it? And when do you know we're, we, we gotta get back on track? You know, my philosophy is, um, and this is when I looked on furniture or so industrial products, if, if the combination between function and aesthetic is perfect in harmony, then it's a good product because then it will be timeless. And I always have the, the, the mission, I want to combine both functionality with a really, really good aesthetic. And if this is in harmony, then I would say, then it's done. Um, I have a challenge for you. I would like you, for you to join me in the e-sauna, and we're just gonna sit there uh, silently and see who can take it for longer. It's very well lit. It's warm. Yeah. I can just feel the infrared energy of creativity in here. All right, I can't take any more. Will you show me the real thing? Sure. Come it's on. It's such a pleasure, dude. <laughs> we continue. <laughs> Put her there, pal. That's the one. That's it, yeah. <laughs> wow, look at that. Please welcome the head of design for Audi AG, Mark Lichter. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, what an unbelievable funny guy. You know, I got the opportunity on Monday to spend with him a few hours. And um, we talk about design, about uh, movies, about acting, about uh, his love of the Audi. And um, what should I say? He's an unbelievable, creative, uh, inspiring, um, cool guy. And I have to tell you that it has for me a huge honor to get this, I would say, once a lifetime experience. And then later in the evening, we uh, gave him a small uh, sneak preview. We had a small event in downtown LA here. And what should I say? Um, I present to him the car, and I have to say, like me, immediately he fall in love. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm really proud to present to you today the Audi e-tron GT. That is. Ladies and gentlemen, um, exactly four years ago, um, we present here in, at LA Auto Show the Audi Prolog. And the Audi Prolog um, has been a very important car for us because this has been the teaser for our new lineup, which is over there A8, A6, A7, Q8. And um, for me, I have to tell you, there was an exciting moment four years ago because this has been the first Audi I designed with my team. Today, I would say it's a more, even more exciting moment for me because this car is a four-door super sports car, battery electric vehicle. And um, I'm honest, I did in my career a few cars already. Uh, some of them I'm, I'm really proud about, but I never got the chance to do a car like this. And there is a reason and magic behind why this car is that special. If we turn it to the side view, 
And I'd like to explain you the reason why this car is special. For us designers, the basis for a good design is the package, because the package creates the architecture of the car and the proportions. And these engineers who did this package, they did an awesome job. I would say it's, it's the best package for a car like this. You have to imagine, this is a battery electric vehicle. There is a battery pack located in the floor of the car. And there is a real four-seater, and the seating position, even in the rear, is uh, enough space, head clearance for a tall guy like me. So, four-seater, battery electric vehicle. And the height of the car is two inch lower than our A7. Don't get me wrong, the A7 is a beautiful, sporty car, but this car is two inch lower. And this is something which is unbelievable. These engineers did really, a, really a great job. Um, second, this car represents our new design language. Or not the new one, it's wrong. The new one is A8, A7, A6, and this is the next evolution. This car will go to the market in two years' time. That's why we think each three years we will have a design step. And what's visible already on our new products over there, that one of our genes in our DNA is Quattro. And with the new products like A8, Q8, A7, we represent or visualize Quattro in our exterior design. On the Audi, Audi e-tron GT, Quattro is not a blister anymore. Quattro is getting a sculpture. Really three-dimensional, very round, I would say really sexy. And um, this is something which we will see in each or all of our future models. If we turn the car to the front end, I'd like to explain to you why this face is something unique for battery electric vehicles. Since 2004, when Audi got the clever idea to connect the upper air intake with the lower one, and since this time, the single frame was born. It's this shape. And you know, on our ICE models, the single frame is a radiator. So it's cooling the engine with underneath. On this kind of battery electric car, the heart of the car is not the engine anymore, it's a battery pack which is located over there. And that's why we came up with the idea. We don't want to destroy the Audi face, and that's why we invert the single frame by color. The single frame is not a radiator, it's a sensor rack, where all the sensors are underneath. And this, but this uh, single frame is in body color, and it's in a dark environment. So it's un in a second visible that this is an Audi, but a battery electric one. If we had turned the car to the rear end, um, the headlights in the front, it's the next evolution, this vertical elements with this X, which is visualizing our laser light technology. And in the rear end, we have a graphic which is matching perfectly to the front. And as you know already from the new i8, a7, and q8, we introduce our LED light band. In the next evolution, this light band is becoming a sculpture, a three-dimensional sculpture. And from the rear, there's my favorite perspective because this narrow, low cabin, the wide body, the round plan shape, this is something for me is a perfect proportion. And you will see that there's a huge diffuser because on this car, this, the body of the car is shaped in the wind tunnel because uh, for a battery electric vehicle, the range is one of the most important topics. Sure, and the good aerodynamic is extend the range. That's why we create something, some really unique details, like the diffuser, and this visualize it's an aerodynamic and a very, very sporty car. Overall, the layout, the, the size and dimension are very sporty, like the interior. Um, we came up with the idea to create a very sporty architecture. And if you experience the car later, recognize that the connection between the doors and the dashboard is a complete new kind of drive orientation. And we at Audi Design, we take uh, sustainability serious. That's why we came up with the idea. For a car like this, we create a 100% vegan interior. That means all the surfaces are synthetic leathers. The fabric on the seat um, is made from a recycled fiber. And even the, the floor carpet um, has been in the first life a fishing net. So altogether, a new kind of sophisticated interior. And a detail which i like to mention out is, is this huge application. Uh, now, in the past, an application has been pieces which we had on a dashboard uh, in carbon fiber or wood or aluminum. With the A8 and the Q8 and the A6, we introduced a new kind of three-dimensional application. 
That's the next level. Most of the dashboard, I would say 70% are the application. So we can create with a different material a very unique character. And I have to say that altogether, the Audi e-tron GT concept combines perfectly the aesthetic um, of a super sports car and the performance with uh, everyday usability. And that's why this car um, will become in two years' time the new member of our Audi Sport family. Um, it's matching perfectly to R8, um, our ARS models. And you know, in Audi Sport, there's everything about design and performance. Thank you very much. The power of a sports car shouldn't be measured in miles per hour. It should be measured in beats per minute. How much it thrills, excites, leaves you breathless. The power to seize emotions and stir the soul. It's part of our DNA, always will be. And whether gasoline or electric, these machines will forever be engineered to get your heart racing. Wow. Mark, to you and your team, thank you for giving us such a brilliant design that truly embodies the future of performance for our brand. And it's electric. The e-tron GT concept accelerates from zero to 62 in 3.5 seconds and generates 590 horsepower. With an approximate range of 250 miles or roughly 400 kilometers, the GT delivers electric performance for everyday use. And this is further highlighted through its ultra-fast charging capability to reach 80% charge in 20 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, the Audi e-tron GT is a testament to our brand's commitment to premium electrification. By 2025, that commitment will account for as much as 30% of our volume, beginning with the arrival of the e-tron in the second quarter of 2019, for which we are taking reservations currently. Continuing with the debut of the e-tron Sportback later next year, and putting the e-tron GT into production in 2020 as the future of electric performance. And we couldn't be more proud to present this masterpiece of design and innovation here in Los Angeles where it stands out perfectly. It is undoubtedly the next supercar for superheroes. Thank you for joining us and thank you to our incredible team for putting this all together. Let's roll the credits. It seems really intuitive. It and is, and really sporty. You know I need to drive it, right? Sure, you have, you have driven it already. Well, I mean, I as Tony Stark in Avengers 4, out in theaters spring 2019 I did, but this is us now, buddy. So that looks like on, that looks like that. Hoo-wee, baby! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending the Audi press conference. We now invite you up on stage to see our new e-tron all-electric vehicles.